the best way to prepare for a future pandemic is to adequately invest in the current challenges okay that we have i mean the current challenges that uh, we have in uh, in africa i uh, example the syndemics the syndemics are the, um, the endemic diseases that we have the hivs the tb the malaria uh, uh, then you have the rising uh, tidal wave of, of non-communicable diseases and then uh, of course the, the emerging and re-emerging infections like the uh, the, the uh, uh, resistance, antimicrobial resistance, the Ebola that comes out of the, the current pandemic. There. So those are three pockets of things that we, we look at. If you look at those three pockets of things that are called endemics, at the center of that, there are some core things that must be looked at and, and look at very deliberately. I mean, first of all is the institutions. Do we have strong institutions? We don't talk of a resilient system without starting with a strong institution. Strong public health institutions are critical to building resilience. A call to action uh, to the leadership of the continent that they have to see uh, 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 building back better, bolder, and uh, 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 bigger in the spirit of the new public health order that we are preaching a new public health order that speaks to all those elements in Africa. But very importantly is the financing, the domestic financing of that. Uh, Africa is a, a resource limited setting, but we, if we are creative and innovative, we can raise financing on the continent in, so that it becomes predictable in the way we can use it to quickly uh, respond to uh, uh, I mean, everything we have discussed here, whether local manufacturing, workforce development requires financing. And we as a continent cannot continue to rely exclusively on funding. I'm not well, exclusively meaning that in the most part of it, relying on external funding to, uh, to support our resilient health system. We have to find innovative ways to generate domestic financing to support those resilient health systems on the continent.